Hey everybody, I wanted to take a second to give some more tips around RDLs. Now what I've seen as of late is not so much a shifting of the body, but a shifting of the weight itself. So here's what I kind of mean by that. People will go ahead, they'll get set up, and then as they're doing their movement, they'll reach really far out in front of them, and then come up from here. So you have this, again, awkward kind of bar path where it reaches far away. Now watch, instead, think you're gonna keep a vertical bar path, and you're gonna move your body around the bar path. So I'm gonna line up over the top of my foot, right? And instead, I'm going to shift my hips back. So when I'm here, the bar still comes straight down through the same space, hips reach, 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 reach. And just send the hips way, way back, way, way back. So here's the second tip. Right at this moment, I'm trying to sacrifice my hip to save my spine. Now, if you get down to the bottom and if your back starts to hurt, most likely there's flexion at your spine here, right? So now I'm sacrificing my spine to protect my hip. So I want to be able to use the hip. There's a lot more meat, right, than on my, on my low back, let's say. So I'm going to go ahead and think about it. Just send my hips way back. And just stand up. So I move around the bar compared to, I move the bar around me. Now there's definitely some good opportunity to get a stretch at the bottom there to let that kind of roll away, but not for this movement pattern. It's a different setup altogether, but give it a shot and good luck on the next one.